Hi, Asha Latter here with the latest Little Lunch and Learn video. Uh, recently delivered a program uh, last week, an in-house course where I really got to work with the whole the dentist and the whole team, which was amazing. Uh, we started talking about discussion of fees and we went really deep into this subject. And one of the dentists was talking about how he reduces his fees in his head often. Um, but then he turned around and said a statement, but you know what, actually, it's only £20 here and it's only £30 here. Now that actually shocked me. And then what I started to do is I started to ask further questions about this, and this is what ha happens. Basically, this dentist often openly admitted to himself that he reduces his fees by £20 here, £30 there, £20 in the afternoon. He, was, he reckons on average about three times a day. Now this dentist particularly works five days a week, so that's 15 times a week where he's reducing his fee in his head. Now yes, it's only £20 here, £30 here, but actually they all add up. So if you just think about it, let's just say he's reducing his fees by say £70 a day, times by five, that's £350 a week discounts that he's given that have all taken place in his head. And let's say this dentist works, I don't know, let's just say 40, 45 weeks a year. This dentist is giving something like £15,000 worth of discounts every single year. Now this dentist has been working for five years already, so if you add it all up and times 15,000 by five, that adds up to nearly £75,000 worth of discount. Now, there's a couple of things here. The first thing is the discounts have taken place in the dentist's heads. So on most occasions, the patients don't even know that the discount has been given. The only other person that might know the discounts being given is, of course, your nurse. Now, I was, uh, went down and further coached him and we had lots of questions. And I honestly asked him and said, look, if by reducing the price of a private crown by £30, do you honestly believe it's going to help increase your sales of that private uh, crown against an NHS one? Is it really going to make any difference? And the answer is probably not. So if this is you and you've got, you've been thinking about as you've been listening to this video that maybe I discount here, discount there a little bit, what I'd like you to do is think about how many times you do that in a day or a week and add it up and then times it by how many weeks you work in a year and then obviously then times it by how many years you've been a dentist. I think you'll be shocked and surprised at how big it is. But the thing you really need to take away is by reducing something by £20 or £30, the whole discount takes place in your head really will not make any difference at all to whether a patient decides to go ahead or not. So my simple advice here is please stop discounting and charging the correct fees.